Nebula Mars 3 Air is from Anchor, the company that makes Soundcore and Eufy. And then we've got the Wanbo Mozart One Pro from the Xiaomi ecosystem. One is an Air, the other a Pro. Is it a fair fight? The result will surprise you or not. Namaste, we are DHRME. The homies review most everything. Let's kick things off with the design. In terms of colors, you get one color. The Nebula comes in a dark gray versus the Wambo, which comes in a dark blue design. To be honest, we dig the blue. It's really premium looking. Then there's the weight. The Wambo weighs a whopping 3.3 kilograms or 7.3 pounds. And the Nebula, half of that. 1.7 kilograms or 3.7 pounds. That's a big difference and you notice that in the size too. Because the Nebula is compact, it has a carrying handle and a built-in battery. Wambo is none of those things. And all of those things makes the Nebula a very portable device that offers a minimalistic setup. That built-in battery we talked about, only the Nebula has it and it's advertised at two and a half hours for a movie and eight hours to listen to music. We'll come back to the music part in a bit. We tested the movie part and we got one hour and 15 minutes with 100% brightness and 50% volume. So the advertised two and a half hours will likely be doable in the eco mode with less brightness. We'll come back to the eco mode in a bit. Luckily, you can set the projector to go into eco mode automatically when you're using it on the battery and not wired. Neither have anything to protect the lens. There's no shutter or you know cover and neither of them have a carrying case either. But what you do get is a remote control on both projectors. But if you forget the remote, then the Nebula actually has controls on the projector. The Wanbo only has a power button, nothing else. Also no app, whereas the Nebula Connect app exists and it gives you a kind of a limited remote control. And even though you don't have a dedicated app on the Wanbo, you can get a similar remote in the Google Home app. Long live Android. Now, speaking of remote, we like the included remote by Nebula here. It is backlit, not all the buttons, but the most important ones. And it even lights up when you lift the remote, raised to wake. On the Wanbo, it is dark, all the way, all the time. And that's no good when you use a projector in very dim to dark situations. Neither is great in terms of tactile feel though. All buttons are pretty close together. You can use the remote to turn on and off both projectors and both have a switch on the projector itself. The tiny downside on the Nebula remote is that you can't use it to turn on the projector when it's on battery mode and not plugged in. But Nebula has a quarter inch fitting at the bottom so you can even fit it onto a tripod or a C-stand if you like. The Wambo on the other hand has a little kickstand so you can tilt it up slightly but you can also fit the Wambo onto a projector mount on your wall or ceiling if you want. Both can do full HD 1080p HDR and a DCI-P3 color gamut, which is a fancy way of saying that they cover 90% of the color spectrum. But specs aside, what's interesting is that both of these projectors can adjust the projection size irrespective of how far it is from the wall or screen. On the Wanbo, the projection can go from 55 to 120 inches, whereas the Nebula goes from 30 to 150 inches. Size matters, guys. Then there's the brightness. Nebula advertises 400 ANSI lumen, whereas Wanbo a whopping 900 ANSI lumens. But in real life usage, we actually felt the Nebula was way brighter than the Wambo. So bright that we prefer to turn down the brightness on the Nebula, whereas we would keep it on max for the Wambo. And both projectors have all the bells and whistles when it comes to autofocus, auto keystone, and obstacle avoidance. And they both do okay, hit or miss at times. But if you pick them up and put them back down, they will recalibrate and generally that fixes it. And that's been good enough for our use. But if you need to, you can manually correct them in the settings too. On the Nebula though, there's even a button on the remote to have the projector recalibrate. When it comes to performance, one good thing to realize is that Wanbo is an Android TV based system, whereas Nebula has the new Google TV. What are some of the differences? Well, the home screen is more personalized and you can set up different user profiles, which is also handy for kids or other people in the house. Not deal breaking differences you may say, but Google TV is the future and if you plan to keep the projector for a long time, you can expect better feature drops and updates compared to Android TV. The moment you turn both on, the first thing you'll notice is the noise that they make and the Wanbo is quite a bit louder than the Nebula. Here's the difference. In terms of user interface responsiveness, we'd have to give it to the Nebula. It is quicker and you really notice this while scrolling. Wambo is a tad slow and so if you try to scroll too quickly, you might overshoot. But which one is quicker to start up? Let's see.
So as you could see, Nebula was faster by around 12 seconds. And another important difference is that the Nebula can go into standby instead of a full shutdown every time like the Wambo. This means it can start back up even quicker within 15 seconds. Both of these projectors have got two 8 watt speakers, but that's on paper. We tested the max volume and we got 101 decibels on the Wambo versus 99 decibels on the Nebula. And if you're looking for bass, then go for the Wambo. It's chunkier than the Nebula for a reason. There's definitely some bass on the Nebula, but not as thumpy as the Wambo. So for overall volume and bass, we pick the Wambo. Both have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, HDMI, USB 2.0, and a 3.5mm audio out. Nebula also has a Bluetooth speaker mode on the projector. You can enable it through the settings or with the button on the projector. And then you quickly realize Nebula is from the same family as Soundcore. You just pair it with Bluetooth and it's like any other wireless speaker. Nifty. Wambo has Chromecast support and it works most of the time. There were times that we couldn't find the device, but AirPlay with an Apple device? Forget about it. That's where the Nebula gets ahead. It can do Chromecast as well as AirPlay reliably. There is a pre-installed app called Nebula Cast, which can be used for AirPlay and screen mirroring as well. And most importantly, it all works well. So, which one should you buy? Well, let's talk price. The Wambo Mozart 1 Pro retails for $530, and the Nebula Mars 3 Air is 70 bucks more. Are you getting more for $70? Absolutely. A more compact, lightweight, and easy to carry projector. The built-in battery adds to the portability convenience and makes for a clean setup for a person like me who will use it now and then to watch something. The software is snappy with no lag, the latest Google TV, and AirPlay that works. And you're getting an overall better performance in terms of color, brightness, and speed all while being quieter. Oh yeah, the small touches like a backlit remote, Bluetooth speaker mode, and a quarter inch fitting are useful addition. Now the Wanbo makes little sense except for one fact. The brightness number on paper is 900 ANSI lumens and the Nebula is at 400. However, this is the crazy part. The Nebula was actually brighter in our testing, also using HDR content. So that was a bit weird. But the Wambo did win out for max volume and especially the bass, so that is going to make your movie experience a lot better. But this will matter less, of course, if you plan to pair it with a speaker system or even a soundbar. So that's all, folks. You've been not subscribed? Only 10% of you guys are sub to us? It would really help us if you subscribed. We will promise to continue making independent and unbiased reviews. Nebula and Wambo did send us their products for review, but it's our policy not to accept any monetary compensation from companies whose products we review. So we rely on subscribers, but especially our YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much, especially our Fuckman level supporters, Gamma Panda, Hunter, and Paula. Y'all are something special. You've been seeing a painter destroyed by a planet. And we've been DHRME. Dewey. Dewey.